Good morning everybody and welcome to my second New York vlog. I'm actually back here. I didn't expect to be but life is unexpected and I'm back again and just as I'm sat here I'm looking at the, is it the Chrysler building right? Yes. Yeah, the Chrysler building. So it's quite an incredible view which I'll show you. As yesterday we arrived, um, I really struggled, sorry about that. I don't know what Ed's doing. <laughs> Yesterday I had really really bad travel sickness on the plane like it was honestly the worst I've ever experienced I used to get really sick when I'm younger, but um that stopped and it came back So I felt so sick and when we got out of the airport It was literally like snowing there was like snow blowing in my face and then we had to get another taxi to the hotel so it was just horrible, but we did manage to get some food yesterday and went for some ramen honestly that ramen is like oh, I actually think about it whenever I'm in London. Like, I crave that. Did you think it was good yesterday? Yeah, yeah, it was really nice. Oh my gosh, it was, yeah, it's like basically like, it's these kind of like booths where, very corona friendly actually, where you are sat by yourself and like you don't see anyone and they just lift this thing up and like give you the ramen and you just sit and eat it. So it was so good. Even just thinking about it now is making me hungry actually. But yeah, anyway, today we are going to head out and get some blue bottle coffee, head to Magnolia Bakery, get the banana pudding, and try and get some Korean barbecue. So before I go on, actually, I kind of shouldn't, I shouldn't not, not like say anything, like it's, obviously it's really bad times right now, not because of Corona, but like the whole Ukraine situation is actually really, it's, it's actually really bothering me. You know, ever since I met Ed and Ed is Lithuanian, like, not that, you know, not meeting him wouldn't have made me care, but it's definitely hit a lot closer to home and it is really, really horrible what is happening. There's quite a lot going on in New York right now where you can see a lot of support for Ukraine, but yeah, it's just a shit situation and we have donated, so I mean, like that's all we can do for now, but I guess talking about it and posting about it is also good, so yeah. Here's a little bit of Grand Central for you. It's Sunday morning actually, so it's quite empty today. And we're just walking right through it so that we can um, go and get our blue bottle coffee. For the past month, I've been making like an active effort to try not to film as much pharmacy stuff and try and like dissociate myself from that due to reasons that I probably won't go into right now, but I will go into in the future. Not that I'm not planning pharmacy videos, but I just want to film more travel stuff at the moment. So that's what I'm doing. There it is! There's blue bottle coffee! I'm so excited for this! Oh my gosh, it's waiting for me! Masks are still compulsory here in New York, so Ed's going to get my coffee because I don't want to wear a mask because I've got makeup on right now. So, yeah, this is blue bottle coffee and it's right outside Grand Central Station. The weather today is quite chilly, but it just feels fresh and crisp. So what I love about blue bottle coffee, right, is like you don't feel like you need to put syrup in it, right? Coffees, for example, Starbucks and Costa, I feel like I have to get syrup because it just, the coffee when I like swallow it, it just kind of grates on my throat. Whereas this, is so right. smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently this guy thinks the Cafe Nero is all right. Okay, thanks. Thanks for ruining my New York vlog with this information. by the Rockefeller Centre enjoying coffee and going to look for Magnolia Bakery. We're just walking around the Rockefeller Centre building thing and like it's just so different to how it was at Christmas time. Like we were like when we were here last like time for Christmas it was just I couldn't even vlog like this. I couldn't even walk. Um, it was just packed so it's nice to just be kind of fresh and have some space. Uh, maybe the fact is Sunday morning. Oh yeah and it's Sunday morning so it's probably why there's less people out right now. We made it. It's feeling quite chilly right now, but we're outside and I'm going to try and do um, banana pudding. It's actually really nice. It's, like, it's better than I remember. <laughs> what is this? So this pudding is like a lot sweeter than I remember, but again, it's not really something I can find in London. So like, I'm such a tourist here, aren't I? Spending like a lot of money on like touristy things but you only live once so we have come to Central Park oh my goodness it's such a lovely Sunday <sighs> it's 
So, we've just come to this little place called the Boathouse. We're gonna go inside and have some tea because we're quite cold. And this is the view. So pretty. My face feels like it's frozen. Like, I feel like I've got Botox or something. It's like, ugh. Oh, when you go to dentist and they inject that, you know. Yeah, the... that's how it feels right now. Um, but anyway, we had a nice hot drink at the, is it the Boathouse Cafe? Yes. And now we are on our way to get some Korean barbecue. I'm so freaking excited, it's unbelievable. Okay guys, we are in Koreatown. So today we are coming to John Korean barbecue. Nice. Let's go, let's go. I'm so excited. The views are just incredible. We came back to the hotel and I took all my makeup off because I just wanted a little bit of a rest in the hotel and I said I wanted to go downstairs and look in Bath and Body Works. I've literally never been to Bath and Body Works but I've heard so much about it like online so I'm excited. I literally look like some sort of giant marshmallow but it's very warm and New York's really cold right now so it's perfectly fitting. Here it is! So many options! So I got loads of like samples and stuff but I didn't actually want to buy anything like I actually went there for a face scrub and they only had body stuff so back to the hotel now, gonna chill before we go for our jazz night So last time I came to New York someone told me it would be freezing so I, I went to TK Maxx and bought this huge coat I don't know if you guys remember but it was like what I call the gingerbread coat and it was boiling hot and I was like, why do I need to buy this? <sighs> Boy, do I miss that coat right now because it is freaking snowing and I'm cold. We're just going to get some dessert. Funnily enough, we're going to get snow, which is like this Korean dessert called like pinzu. So that's going to make us cold as well. And then we're going to go to the jazz club. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there's just such a flurry of snow right now. It's crazy. That's what we've missed, I think. Yeah, it's actually snowing more now than it ever did at Christmas time, right? Yeah. Christmas was in Vermont, but... Yeah. So, I just ordered a matcha latte and a OG Korean miso. So this is like little mochi, like rice little bubbles. This is red bean, strawberry and black sesame shaved ice. We're here, we're gonna have some jazz music now. We are here at the Jazz Cafe and it's absolutely stunning. It's such a lovely atmosphere. Just looking at the menu. Good morning, it is day two in New York and yeah, yesterday night we went to the Jazz Club. I personally really liked it but this guy here uh, fell asleep for most of it so I think we have very different opinions on that but I think it was amazing like if you like live music then I definitely recommend Birdland Jazz Club it was actually yeah really good and today this morning we are about to go to the Lower East Side so one of my friends who lives in Canada has decided to ha come on a trip to New York so we worked together back in London and now we're meeting in New York so I can't actually wait to see her this jacket thing is like Ed's jacket and he wears it as an under jacket to all of his other jackets. I've recently started to steal this because it's freaking like body armor. It's so warm. We are on Lower East Side and just gonna find a nice cafe to have some morning coffee. This is the Lower East Side. So this morning we're going to an espresso cafe. 
right here. I decided to go for a chocolate cappuccino today. For your blogger. She, no one is, have like a she has so many followers on YouTube. Oh my god, I'm gonna follow her.